Hi, for question number 10, referred to the origin, the points A, B, and C have position vectors given by OA is equal to I plus 2J plus 3K, OB is equal to 2I plus 4J plus K, and OC is equal to 3I plus 5J minus 3K. For the first part, find the exact value of the cosine of angle B, B A, C. Second part, hence find the exact value of the area of triangle A, B, C. And for the third part, find the equation of a plane which is parallel to the y-axis and contains the line through B and C. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D. Now what I've done for the first part is that uh, I have uh, put the vectors in column vector forms. And therefore this is vector OA, OB and OC respectively. We need to find the cos, exact value of the cos of BAC. So to do that we're going to find the vector AB which is then vector AO plus vector OB. So what is AO? AO is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. The negative direction of those vectors. OB is 2, 4, 1. And the outcome is going to be 1 plus minus, 2 plus minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Similarly, for AC, we're going to move through AO plus OC. And AO is minus 1, minus 2 again, minus 3. Plus OC, we have it as 3, 5, and minus 3. As given there. So you add that up, you're going to end up with 2, and then 3, and uh, minus 6. So to find the cost of the angle between two vectors, we're going to multiply the vectors and divide by their magnitudes. So the vectors are AB times AC. This is AB, AC. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. Minus 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. So, I mean, minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. Divided by their magnitude. AB, 2 to the square, 4 to the square. I mean, 2 to the square, 2 to the square is 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1, 9. So root of 9 times root of 36 plus 6 is um, plus 9 is 45 plus 4 is 49. So root of 49. So we have then 20 over 3 times 7. Your answer should be then 20 over 21. So that's the first part done. For the second part we need to find uh, the area the exact value of the area of triangle ABC. Suppose uh, this is a rough illustration of ABC. Now we know that AB um, is given here. AB is a root of 9 which is 3. So AB can, can be stated as 3. The other one is 7. And uh, we have the angle here which is cos of, a, of BAC as found earlier was 20 over 21. So if this is um, cos and we have 20 over 21 age set over the hypotenuse therefore this can be calculated root uh, sorry 20 sorry 20, 21 21 okay 21 over 20 so we got then uh, 21 square k okay, minus 20 square it's going to give us 41. 41 and then you do the square root Pythagoras theorem. So we're trying to find the sine of BAC. Sine is given as opposite of the hypotenuse. So root of 41 over 21. So now if you want to find the area of the triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC can be given as let us say this was A and this was C and this was let us say B so half BC sine A so we have half times B times C times sine of A the sine we just found it to be root of 41 over 21 so 7 goes in this 3 3 and 3 1 and you got then half root of 21 and that's uh, units square so this is the second part of the question 
for the third part, we need to find the equation of the plane that is parallel to the y-axis and contains the line BC. Suppose this is the plane. This plane is parallel to the y-axis and it contains BC. Now, what is uh, the vector BC? We can find vector BC, direction vector. It's going to be BO plus OC. Therefore, we have BO as uh, minus 2, minus 4, minus 1. Because OB was given as um, 2, 4, 1, the negative of that, plus OC, and OC is 3, 5, minus 3. 3, 5, minus 3. So the outcome is going to be 1 and 5 plus minus 4 is 1 again and then minus 4. So this is the vector BC. Very important. Now suppose this is the z-axis. Alright, so we can see that um, the plane is in the xy axis because it's parallel to the y axis. Therefore, what is um, another direction vector? That could be then, if it is parallel to the y axis, it can start, uh, we can have another direction vector starting with y, maybe 1, okay, and then 0, 0, the other 2, okay, right? So this is the um, second direction vector. Using this fact that the plane is parallel to the y-axis generating this vector and coupled with the vector that we have just found we can find the equation of the plane by using the matrix method okay so let's do that how are we going to do this I have 0 1 0 and I've got uh, 1 1 minus 4 so what I can do, I can find the determinants of those matrices which will give me the um, vector equation of the plane. So I have 1, 0, 1, minus 4, 1, 0, 1, minus 4, 0, 0, 1, minus 4, 0, 0, 1, minus 4, 0, 1, 1, 1. So let's do that. The determinant of this matrix is going to be minus 4, minus 0, which is minus 4. We can put x minus, minus, 0 times minus 4 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, minus 0, plus 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So this can be y, this can be z, and that's going to be equal to d. So we're going to find d. So we can substitute any of those points, coordinates, B. The coordinate of B is 2, 4, 1. 2, 4, 1. So we can say minus 4 times 2 plus 0 times Y, which is uh, 4. And then minus 1 times Z, and Z is 1. It's going to give us D. Meaning that D is going to be equal to minus 8. 0 minus 1 is minus 9. So minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9. Therefore, the equation of the plane can be given as 4x, there's no y because there's 0 here, plus z, so it's 4x plus z is equal to 9. You can see I've taken the negative as positive. Right, because all of them are negative, we can substitute, I mean, we can factorize this and put minus 1 outside, send it on the other side, minus 9 divided by minus 1 is going to be positive 9, and this becomes positive. So here we are for this question taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Paper 3. Okay, take care.